Hi all, today we are going to discuss about inductors in series and parallel combination. So, let us take the case of the inductors in series. So, in the series combination, how they will behave and later on we will see the parallel combination. So, first we will take for the case of ideal case, that means I am assume the inductor does not have any resistance. So, let us take for example, there is two, two coils. So, the first coil is wound like this. Okay, this is the coil and second coil, there is one more coil, the second coil is wound like this. So, whenever the coils are wound, generally we represent with a dot notation, there will be dot will be represented on the coil. The dot indicates if the current is entering the dot of one coil and the current is entering the dot of the second coil or if the current is leaving the dot of one coil, it should leave the dot of the second coil. In that case, the coefficient of coupling will be positive or the mutual inductance between them will be positive and if the current is entering the dot of one coil and leaving the dot of another coil, then the fluxes produced by them will be in the opposite direction or we tell the mutual inductance between them will be negative. So, let us take the case of the mutual inductance is positive. That means they are connected in such a way the current enters the dot of both the coils. So, let us see what is going to happen. So, I am connecting these coils like this. So, here I have applied some voltage. So, because of this voltage, let us assume the current I is passing through them. So, same current will pass through this coil and it will come out like this and same current will enter here. Same current is passing through both the coils. So, now let us see what is the flux produced by the first coil. The flux produced by the first coil, you can apply your right hand thumb rule. Your curled finger indicates the direction of the current. Then your thumb indicates the direction of the magnetic field. So, your magnetic field produced will be like this. This is my direction of the magnetic field. So, similar is the case for the second coil also if you apply, you will see the direction of magnetic field also will be same. Let us assume the resultant magnetic field produced by them is given by phi. So, this is my coil A or coil 1 having n1 turns and this is my coil B having n2 number of turns. So, now let L1 is the self inductance of coil 1 and L2 is self inductance of coil number 2 or coil number B and M is the mutual inductance between these coils. So, we have already shown in the last class that M12 will be equal to M21 is equal to M only. So, let us assume the effective value of the inductance I am representing by L where L indicates the effective inductance of the coil. That means, considering the self inductance as well as mutual inductance, the entire coils as a set, what is the effective inductance that I am representing by L. So, whenever the flux is time varying with respect to time, because the current is varying with respect to time, so the flux that is produced also will vary with respect to time. So, that flux will link with the same coil. So, let us assume the flux produced by coil A will link with the same coil. So, that we define by the EMF we have seen in the last class that is given by E1 is equal to minus L1 multiplied by di by dt because i is the current passing through it. Similarly, there will be mutually induced EMF in coil 1 because of current passing through the second coil. So, that we represent by the term minus m into di by dt. Here we are assuming that the flux produced by the second and the first coil both are in the same direction. So, mutual inductance is positive. Please remember this one. So, similar is the case the self-induced EMF in the second coil will be minus L2 into di by dt and similarly EMF induced, mutually induced EMF in second coil will be minus M into di by dt because here also M will be positive. So, the total induced EMF I can tell as a sum of E1 plus E1 dash plus E2 plus E2 dash or this total induced EMF. So, this I can write as minus L1 into di by dt because minus is common for all I am taking outside plus m into di by dt plus l2 into di by dt plus m into di by dt this is what we get. So, this I can write as minus l1 plus l2 plus 2m times of di by dt. So, as one term is here this I can represent by the effective inductance. So, this I can represent by minus l into di by dt, I can correlate both sides, L effective value of the inductance will be equal to 
L is equal to L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So, this is the case when they are flux produced by both are adding to each other. So, let us see the case if the flux produced by both are in opposite direction. So, again I am taking the coil. Let us assume the first coil is wound like this. So, I am taking the dot notation here. Similar is the case the second coil. So, dot notation is here. So, they are made in such a way the current enters the dot of one coil that means I will enter like this. So, this is my value of the I. So, the flux produced by this coil I can draw. Let us draw the flux produced by this. Then you will go over the second one. So, the flux produced by this if you apply this rule this will be my value of flux produced by this one. This I can take as flux produced by the first coil having n1 number of turns. Now, coming to the second coil if the flux is coming in same direction we tell they are adding to each other. If the flux is in opposite direction we tell they are opposing each other. So, mutual inductance will be negative. So, that is what we have seen. So, now in order to get that the current direction should be opposite then only the flux will be opposite. So, I want the current direction should be opposite. So, when it will be opposite if the current is leaving my dot. So, that is why the connection will be made like this. So, this one will be connected here and this will be taken out. So, here we apply my voltage. Voltage V is applied. Okay. Now, in this case the flux produced by the second one that phi 2 I can represent again same thing it is produced by the second coil the flux phi 2 will be in opposite direction. So, this is my value of phi 2. So, now the net flux in your core will be phi 1 minus phi 2 or the difference of these two fluxes. So, that is why effective value of this will be considered by taking the mutual inductance effect or we can tell that the EMFs again I am writing the equation the self induced EMF of the first coil will be minus L1 into di divided by dt and similarly the value of E2 will be minus L2 into di by dt whereas the value of E1 dash and E2 dash that means EMF induced due to the mutual inductance that will be because mutual inductance will be negative in this case because fluxes are opposing you will get is m, m into di by dt. This also will be m multiplied by di by dt. You can see this both E1 dash and E2 dash is this mutually induced DMF. So, this will aid the applied voltage because they are opposing so it will aid the applied voltage or otherwise the total EMF that is induced will be E1 plus E1 dash plus E2 plus E2 dash I can write like this. So, this will be equal to minus L into di by dt this will be equal to minus L1 into di by dt plus M into di by dt minus L2 into di by dt plus M into di by dt. This way we will get. So, we can tell the effective inductance will be equal to L1 plus L2 minus 2m. This is the effective value of the inductance. So, let us take the loop as a whole. So, I am representing the total value of the EMF that is induced. Let us assume that entire thing I am representing by a coil. The EMF effective value of the EMF that is induced that ET I am representing here. So, this is my applied voltage. So, this is my voltage V. So, you can apply the KVL in this loop. If you apply the KVL in this loop, so you will get it in the form. Let us assume minus 2 plus I am going. I am assuming that ET also this also in same direction. This will be V plus ET will be equal to 0. You agree with me? So, V plus ET is equal to 0 or V is equal to minus ET. What is minus ET? Minus ET will be equal to minus L into di by dt. You agree with me? So, minus of minus will be plus L into di by dt. So, we can tell the applied voltage will be equal to L into di by dt. It will be compensated by the ET or otherwise we can tell that V is equal to minus ET. That means, whatever notation we have taken that is wrong, it will be in the opposite direction. That means, whatever the EMF is induced that will try to oppose the cause because then only the net EMF will be equal to 0. So, this thing you have to remember in mind. So, but practically when you take any coil, there will be two things. One is the coefficient coupling will not be equal to 1. And second one, always there will be some resistance in series with the reactants. Even though that value may be less, but some resistance will always be there. That means, if you are applying some voltage V, some current I is passing in them. This I can represent as R1, L1, this is L2 and R2. There is some 
mutual inductance between them again mutual inductance can be positive or negative so first one is the coil one second one is for coil two so if you apply the kvl in this loop you will get as a sum of the emf will be equal to sum of the voltage drops or we can tell that v plus e1 plus e2 where e1 is the total emf induced self plus mutual similarly e2 is self plus mutual of second coil this will be equal to i into r1 plus i into r2 this sum of the voltage drops where the value of e1 is equal to minus l1 into di by dt plus m into di by dt similar is the case e2 i can write as minus l2 into di by dt plus m into di by dt this is what we get or from this i can represent my voltage v is equal to i into r1 plus r2 i am taking to the second side plus l1 plus l2 plus 2m times of di by dt or this i can write in the form i into r equivalent value plus l equivalent value into di by dt that is the value of the applied voltage or from this i can write my r equivalent value will be equal to r1 plus r2 and the l equivalent value will be equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2m so here you have to remember here the m will be positive if the coupling is positive so there is a positive coupling that means the flux is adding to each other this m will be taken as negative if the coupling is negative so please remember these things so generally the value of the m we have derived in the last class it is related to l by if k is the coefficient of coupling k into square root of l1 multiplied by l2 where the value of the k can be positive or negative that's why we can tell that it varies from minus 1 to plus 1 because ideally the value will be either plus 1 or minus 1 but practically it will be less than that because always there will be some leakage flux so from this i can define my effective value of the inductance will be l1 plus l2 plus 2k into square root of l1 l2 so this is the one which you have to remember getting it now let us see the parallel combination of inductors so i am taking the case of parallel combination so in the parallel combination again two circuits are there because analysis by taking the resistance will be very difficult i am only taking the pure inductors so similar way you can proceed for the case of resistance parallel circuits if you want to details about the parallel circuit how to operate with or calculate with the resistance you can please refer to my basic electrical engineering the parallel circuit there i have discussed this in detail how to solve such circuits so this will be i1 and let us take this current is equal to i2 let us take the self inductance of this one is l1 this is l2 and there is a coupling between them so mutual inductance is m between them so for the first inductor i can tell my voltage will be same because in parallel combination voltage will be same so i can tell that v is equal to l1 into di1 by dt plus m into di2 by dt so let us take it as equation number one similarly for the second coil i can write same voltage is there this will be l2 into current is i2 plus m into this is produced due to current in the first coil this is di1 by dt so let us take it as equation number two so now i am equating equation number one is equal to equation number two so if you equate them you will get it as l1 minus m times of di1 by dt i am equating and rearranging them this will be l2 minus m times of di2 by dt because you can see here this is i2 this is i1 when it goes to the second side minus sign comes that is the reason i have kept this let us take it as equation number three so from this equation i can write my di2 by dt will be equal to l1 minus m divided by l2 minus m times of di1 by dt let us take it as equation number four so now i am substituting equation number four in equation number one so equation number is one is here l1 into di1 by dt plus m into di2 by dt so there i am substituting so v will be equal to l1 into di1 by dt plus m into because di2 by dt i am replacing with this one this will be l1 minus m divided by l2 minus m into di1 by dt right so from this i can write of the form v into l2 minus m will be equal to l1 l2 minus m square times of di1 by dt you can please simplify it and check it you will get this answer so in the similar way 
you can represent i1 in terms of i2 then replace that i1 in terms of i2 and calculate it in equation 1 so we'll get this as v into l1 minus m is equal to l1 l2 minus m square multiplied by di2 by dt let us take it as equation number 6 so now i am adding equation number 5 and equation number 6 so whenever adding this it will become v into l1 plus l2 minus 2m this will be equal to l1 l2 minus m square times of di1 by dt plus di2 by dt that means rate at which the current one is varying plus rate at which current 2 is varying so from this i can tell v is equal to l1 l2 minus m square divided by l1 plus l2 minus 2m times of this will be di1 by dt plus di2 by dt so let us take this rate of change of each current d by dt of i1 plus i2 i can write so this i can write of the form di by dt i1 plus i2 is the total current so this entire thing i can represent by effective value of the inductance so i can tell the effective value of the inductance because we have already proved the supply voltage is equal to l into di by dt and emf induced is minus l into di by dt please remember there that's i have derived in the series circuits so this l effective value so this will be equal to l1 plus l2 minus m square divided by l1 plus l2 minus 2m this is my effective value of inductance to understand this concept completely i'm taking one small example i'm taking two coils with negligible resistance and self inductances of 0.2 henry and 0.3 henry are connected in let us take for example they are connected in series and second one they may be connected in parallel if there mutual inductances is 0 0.1 henry because m12 will be equal to m21 that is equal to 0 0.1 henry determine the effective inductance of their combination in each case so it is asked to find effective value of inductance when they are connected in series and second one they are connected in parallel so first time calculating the series so l effective value will be equal to l1 plus l2 plus or minus 2m plus will be for adding minus will be for differentiating or subtracting so this will be 0.2 plus 0.3 plus or minus 2 into 0.1 so this will be equal to 0.7 henry this is for cumulative cumulative means both are adding to each other and this will be equal to 0 0.3 henry this is for differential that means the fluxes are opposing each other so let us take the second case the parallel combination so for the case of parallel combination we know the effective value will be equal to l1 l2 minus m square divided by l1 plus l2 this is minus 2m for adding and that m will be opposite for the case of second case so this will be minus or plus two times of magnitude of m so because m square because magnitude of m square will be whether it is minus or plus it will become positive only that's why i have only written for the denominator so this will be 0 0.2 multiplied by 0.3 minus 0 0.1 whole square divided by 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 minus or plus two times of 0 0.1 so this will be equal to 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.5 minus or plus times of 0 0.2 so this will be 0 0.166 this is for the case of cumulative and it will be equal to 0 0.071 this is for differential connection so you can see in the parallel combination the cumulative connection will have more value when compared to the differential connection and same thing is the case in case of series combination cumulative component will have more inductance when compared to differential component so i hope the inductors connected in series and parallel how they behave is completely clear to you if you still have queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much